وقف الطفل وحده والليالي ورصاص من حوله If your salah is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything else is made easy. Your siyam, your hajj, your zakah, everything is made easy for you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is your first point of assessment as an individual, and this must quickly follow with a critical look at your household, your family. Alhamdulillah, many of the brothers, and this is something you see all around the world, Many of the brothers will find dedication, alhamdulillah, they have their friends, they have others who will bring them into a spirit of Islam, but there is a genuine neglect. It is witnessed everywhere. There is neglect of our Muslim households. There is neglect of our spouse. There is neglect of our children. And these will be the most important individuals for you on the Day of Judgment. Recognize that the Prophet ﷺ has said that when the man exits from the grave, the father comes out of the grave, the first thing his children will do will hold onto his neck. And they will bring him before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when the judgment is passed upon them, they will say, Abata, my father, what have you done to help me? My father did not teach, my father did not instruct. And that becomes the most critical question after yourself will be your conduct with your family and your children. To the point that Muhammad has made it as a criteria for an individual to know his success between himself and his creator is his success in his household. Listen to the words of Muhammad he says, خَيْرُكُمْ The best of you, meaning the best of you in the estimation of Allah. The best of you in how Allah assesses you. خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ Is the best of you in terms of his relationship with his family. And to make it crystal clear, he says, وَأَنَا خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِ And I am the best of you because I am the best of you in regards to my family. Specifically, the wife, followed quickly by the children. It is your duty and it is your obligation to build a household that is founded upon the principles of Islam. You have here an opportunity to distinguish yourself as a Muslim, as an American, as an individual who is living and practicing the teachings of the ancient Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You have an opportunity to show in the way you conduct yourself with your family, with your workers, with your employers, your employees. You have a way of showing you are successful, the reason being you are Muslim. It's enough. We no longer need doctors who are Muslim. We don't need plumbers who are Muslim or mechanics who are Muslim or teachers who are Muslim. We need Muslim teachers. Muslim doctors, Muslim lawyers, people whose distinguishing characteristic is their Islam. It's manifest, not just in a physical attribute, but in how they speak, in their modesty, in their punctuality, in their honesty, in their willingness to come towards what is right, and distinguish it from what is wrong. It is important for us to begin to take account of ourselves and our families.